a bright sunny day and the sun is just above my head where I am standing in front of our R&D facility. Welcome once again to our suspension workshop series with me, your host Joe, where I will be letting you know about the first function, which is spring adjustable preload. So guys, what is spring adjustable preload? In general, spring preload simply is the amount of springs compressed when the suspension is fully extended. Seems complicated, huh? Don't worry, we have the simple calculations to help you guys understand. In this episode, I'm going to show you two types of calculation. First is to calculate the free sec, and second is to calculate the right height. We will be using both dual suspension and monoshock as an example. The tools needed here are just a pen, marker, a measuring tape, last but not least, a piece of paper to jot things down. Free sec is defined as the distance of the rear end hits the ground only with the weight of the motorcycle. The purpose is to ensure that you are on the correct shocks even before you step on the bike. For this measurement, we're going to take two points. First is from the axle all the way up onto a place here which I'll be marking with a marker pen. Note that each time we make a measurement, the points of measuring should be the same. A from the axle and B to the point here which we have just marked. To get the measurement from R1, I'm going to start it from here, pull it down all the way into the center of the axle, and we get a total of 410 millimeters. Same as the technique we used earlier on, start by measuring by putting it at the place we marked here with the marker, and pull it down all the way into the center of the axle, and we get a value of 405 millimeters. Okay, now we minus 410 millimeters and 405 millimeters. We will get here a total of 5 millimeters. Note that the recommended value is between 5 to 8 millimeters. If you get the value which is above 8 mm, loosen up the shocks by turning the adjusters anti clockwise. And if you get the value which is below 5 mm, increase the stiffness by turning the adjusters clockwise and then test them out again. And for the second calculation, which is the right height, we're going to make a case study with two separate riders, with two separate weights, to teach you how to adjust the spring preload according to your weight. On my right here, we have Mr. Arif, who weighs 60 kilos. And on my left here, we have Mr. Azro, who weighs 90 kilos. Note that in this case study, we will be using the dual suspension and the monoshock for your reference. Let's start with you, Mr. Right height is defined as the distance of the rear end when it settles on the ground only with the load of the bike and the rider on board. To get the most accurate measurement, the rider is required to sit on the bike with both feet on the footrest and an assistant is required to help balance the bike while measurements for R3 are being taken. Same as the technique we used earlier, start by measuring from the place that we have marked and pull the tape all the way down to the center of the axle. From here, we get the measurement of 375 millimeters. As we get the R1 value earlier on as 410 millimeters, by Azro sitting on the bike for the first time, we get R3, which is 375 millimeters. Subtracting them, we get 35 millimeters, which is not in the recommended value. The recommended value is between 25 to 30 millimeters. Now, let's do the adjustment on the spring preload to get the correct amount. As the R3 value that we get earlier on is above the recommended value, tighten up the spring preload by turning the adjusters clockwise. Now, let us get our rider to sit on the bike and continue the R3 measurement. Start by measuring from the point that we have marked and all the way to the center of the axle. We have our new value of R3 which is 380 millimeters. After adjustment, we get the R3 value of 380 millimeters, and after subtracting them, we get a total of 30 millimeters, which is in the recommended value. And for this next demonstration, we are going to use a dual suspension model. And we have Mr. Arif here, who weighs 60 kilograms, who will be sitting on the bike. For this dual suspension, we have pre-calculated our free sack. So, 
Remember to measure and calculate your free side before proceeding with calculating the right height. Measuring the free side and right height for dual suspensions is relatively easy. Since dual suspensions are mostly exposed, we can measure from each end of the springs. And we measure the length of the spring here. And we get a total of 150 millimeters. The R1 value for this dual suspension model is 165 millimeters. And for R3, we get 150 millimeters. Subtracting them, we get 15 millimeters, which is not in the recommended range. The recommended range is from 25 millimeters to 30 millimeters. Now, let's do the adjustment to get the correct measurement. First, loosen up the lock nut by turning the screw anti-clockwise. Loosen up the spring by turning the adjusters anti-clockwise. Make sure both sides are adjusted simultaneously. Now that we have adjusted the spring preload on both suspensions, let us proceed with the new measurement. For this new measurement, we get a value of 145 millimeters. After adjustment, we get an R3 value of 145 millimeters. Subtracting them, we get a total of 20 millimeters, which is in the recommended value. Okay, guys, we have completed this episode for spring adjustable preload, and I hope that this newfound knowledge will benefit you in using our RCB suspensions. Don't forget, we still got rebound and compression adjustments coming up after this. I'll see you around.